Hello, hello, hello. You made it. The weekend is almost here and you already know Fridays rock, especially when it's a Halloween weekend. Hope you're getting into the Halloween spirit. I think my daughters have chosen my costume and I'm pretty sure it involves a Disney princess. I'm your boy Koi. This is CNN 10 and we're going to start this show by sending a special shout out to Kokomo, Indiana. Bon Air Middle School, rise up. Did you know that the state motto for Indiana is Crossroads of America? Very fitting because today we're going to bring you on a ride with us. Welcome to a special edition of CNN 10 where the topic of self driving cars is in the hot seat. Yesterday I told you about a new pilot program of fully autonomous robot taxis in Los Angeles and it got us to thinking about the future of this technology. Fully autonomous vehicles do all the driving without any input from humans. They rely on detailed maps, GPS, cameras, radar, and artificial intelligence to navigate their computer powered journeys. Manufacturers worldwide are investing in this technology. It's said to be eco-friendly, and it could offer an affordable mode of transportation for non-car owners. And some believe that computers will be safer drivers than humans, but there are a lot of questions. There are concerns about safety and the readiness of this technology. There have been court fights, injuries, even deaths caused by self-driving technology. And some privacy advocates are concerned that your every movement and destination can be tracked. Who gets access to this information? It does seem though that the world is moving closer and closer to fully autonomous vehicles becoming mainstream. Some wonder if humans will even be driving vehicles at all in the future. So for today, show, we're going to take a look at what a completely driverless world in the future could look like. Americans love their cars. Getting my first car was one of the happiest days of my life. And I've loved driving ever since, especially fast cars. Uh, yeah, that's not actually my car, but hey, look, this is my story and I can dream if I want to. But what if I'm part of the last generation to get excited about driving a car? I've spent the past year traveling the country, talking to entrepreneurs, engineers, and test drivers who are building the cars of tomorrow. And when they imagine the future, driving a car isn't part of it. They envision roads full of cars driven by machines, where traffic jams are no more where the death rate by car accidents drops to zero. The end of car ownership as we know it. Even to the point of human driving one day becoming illegal. I ask them all the same thing. What will the future look like? And what will it take to get there? What I found was really exciting, but also a bit shocking. So, as soon as I turn out of this parking lot, I'm gonna engage in self-driving mode. Right. So technically, we don't need a driver in the car. So you and I are basically, in a way, just yep. passengers now. Yes. We're test driving a car powered by autonomous vehicle startup Drive AI on the streets of Northern California. It's one of several companies working to utterly transform how we live. This test car could be the prototype of an automobile that not only takes you out of the driver's seat, but creates a future where you might not need to own a car at all. At least, that's what the people building him think. Ownership will probably be abandoned. Um, we mostly have uh, cars that we summon on our phone. The car will come empty to us. And, and, and pick us up and we get inside in front of our office or our house and it drives us straight to the restaurant and there's no time wasted with parking. In a world of self-driving cars, the utopia of the future, the only vehicles operating in the city are driverless electric emissionless vehicles. They can position themselves in a state where you, know, you or I hailing one from our smartphone has one there within a minute. We will look back and say, wow, people own cars to get from this point to that point. Eliminating car ownership would drastically change the way we shape our cities. The thing I'm most excited about is the ability on the street to reallocate space away from the storage of vehicles. Right now, cars sit idle 94.8% of the time. I mean, that's staggering. And I think we could literally close 
30-40% of our streets to automobiles. You don't need cars on, on neighborhood streets anymore. You just need them on the perimeter of your neighborhood. All of those parking facilities today get turned into um, residential space or parks or offices or restaurants and we can kind of give back the city uh, to the people that live in it and take it away from the automobiles, right? And I think that they, the quality of life and the opportunity to kind of reuse that space uh, is going to be pretty magical. Imagine it, never driving again. The nation of muscle cars, NASCAR, and open road. You're going to tell Americans they can't drive? Well, eventually, maybe. There may be a law in place that basically says 50 years from now, humans cannot drive on public roads. And if a human does want to drive, you actually go to a private car ranch where you can basically drive to your heart's content. All right, I know what you're thinking. A car ranch? But it's actually not that crazy. Remember, when we transitioned from horses to automobiles, we didn't shoot all the horses. Well, guess what? These car ranches actually already exist. Think of car companies that build high-end sports cars that are meant to be driven by humans, not robots. They're already building driving courses around the country. And yes, they're as fun as they sound. We opened in May 2015. You'll come in, you'll meet your, you'll register and meet your driving coach, and then the driving coach will then take you onto the track. We believe this, this destination that we've created has got a long-term future. Porsche knows that driverless technology is around the corner, but they still want people to love driving, even if they do less of it on public roads. It's like being a kid in a kid store. Yeah, seriously. All right, let's get back to the real world. The rise of car sharing services has already made people accustomed to the idea of not owning a car. Today, human drivers pick us up when we use Uber or Lyft, but that's not gonna last. Autonomous ride sharing is absolutely coming. Uh, it is right around the corner and you'll see it in pockets at first and slowly and surely you'll start to see these vehicles all over the place. There is an opportunity on a long enough timeline where we may have a fleet that is fully autonomous. As you start to see people adopt to transportation as a service, uh, the hope here is that cars will, car ownership will slowly decline. All of these changes won't come easy. Perhaps the biggest fear? What will happen when all these robots get better at our jobs than we are? Will they replace us? <laughs>